The anime begins with Lucille going to find a deal for his boss because he works as a clerk for his company. He considers himself very bad luck, but this time he finds a very big deal. After finalizing the deal with the client, he gets very happy and thinks that now he will definitely get a promotion. On the way, he is fired accidentally and gets very disappointed. Being diligent, God reincarnates him into a new world. God gives him power and a status according to his caliber. By looking at the status, he knows his name in this new reincarnated world. He escapes a dragon and reaches a town on foot, but he has no tolls for entry. He passes the guard at the entry, but they stops him. Lucille tells him that he comes from a village to work as a healer there. The guard introduces him to Lumina, who takes him into town where he bumps into Bozin and his companions. Bozin gets angry at his bump and asks about his hurry. Lucille tells him that he joined the healer guild here. Bozin does not like hearing this at all. Bozin warns him that healers here are not good, so now Lucille has to become a good healer. Seeing Lucille's face, Lumina encourages him and takes him into the healer guild headquarters. There, Lumina welcomes him, and he is happy to see that he is now in a good position. Kuru at the counter gives him an identity form, and Lucille fills out the identity form using his powers. Kuru makes his identity card according to his information. After this, he goes near Lumina and asks about the town. She gives information about the town that is under civil empire. After some time, his identity card is ready, which he sees using his magical energy. Seeing this, he comes to know that he is a G-rank healer. He is quite happy to see his identity. Kuru takes his card, then Lucille asks Lumina about the card and she tells him that Kururu will save Lucille's information to the guild's magical network, by which he will become a member of this network. Now everyone knows that Lucille has magic control and magic healer affinity. Meanwhile, Lucille tells Lumina that he does not know how to use holy magic. Lumina gets angry with him and gives him three options to select. He selects the first option, which is the most stupid one. According to this option, he has to undergo Spartan training to learn the use of magic. Now, Kuru takes him to his room where he learns about magic from spell tomes. After some time, he uses his magic, which has no result. This reduces his MP for the first time. He uses his magic nine more times, which results in his MP reaching zero. Next morning, he starts his training again and learns all the training in three days. He recovers his status through meditation. Monica serves a meal to Lucille in his room and introduces herself. On the other side, one of Bozin's friends gets injured while fighting a monster. Bozin is scolding all his companions when Lucille arrives there and tells Bozin that he wants to help his friend because he is also a healer. Lucille starts healing the adventurer using his powers. In his first attempt, he fails to use his magic, and Bozin becomes angry with him. Lucille gets very nervous about it. Just then, he controls his emotions and activates his magical powers. He saves all the adventurers except for the last one, his power becomes zero. He also wants to save the last one but cannot do so. Now, he wants to improve his abilities to heal all the adventurers. He joins a training center on Monica's suggestion. There, he fills out the information form for registration. Nanoyla tells him about the rules of training, which makes him hesitate a bit. Nanoyla tells him to calm down because his training will start from the very initial level so he will not face any loss. In the meantime, Broad arrives. Broad asks Lucille about the reason for his fighting training because he is a healer and doesn't fight. But Lucille insists on training after six days, and Broad agrees, making everyone jealous. After six days, Lucille goes to the training center, and Broad is pleased to see him there. Broad has an intimidating presence, and everyone is afraid of him. They start training, and Broad soon realizes that Lucille has very low status. He works very hard to train him. Lucille practices his healing magic for a whole week. He approaches Kuru after learning healing magic and thanks her. After that, Broad asks him to practice his skills on him but he is still not strong enough to pass Broad's test. Lucille tells Broad that he wants to heal all the adventurers as well as the injured. Meanwhile, an injured girl arrives, and Lucille heals her wound. Due to his ability, Broad is willing to let him stay there for free. This lets Lucille know that everyone has high expectations of him, which he has to live up to. Lucille refreshes and changes his outfit because his clothes smell very bad, and he wants to wash them. Just then, Nanoela arrives and asks him to wash his clothes. Lucille initially refuses because of the bad smell of his clothes, which makes Nanoela sad. Eventually, he allows her to wash his clothes, making her happy. After some time, Lucille goes to the guild where delicious food is available in abundance. Broad mentions that this food is specially arranged for him and advises him to eat it before going to the basement. Broad takes him to his room, where Lucille starts practicing his magic because he doesn't want to sleep early. However, he falls asleep after a while. 
The next morning, Lucille visits the cafe and Broad introduces him to Golgar. Golgar is from the bear race and offers Lucille a drink with a very bad taste, claiming that it will increase his stamina and abilities. Although it's difficult to drink, Lucille reluctantly consumes it because he wants to increase his strength. Golgar is shocked to see this. After some time, Lucille attacks Broad during his training, but he is still not powerful enough to defeat Broad. After taking a punch from Broad, Lucille is sent flying. However, he stands up happily and asks Broad to attack him again. Broad is surprised to find that he still has the strength to fight. Meanwhile, an injured cat girl adventurer arrives and asks Lucille to heal her for free. Lucille heals her wound, and she starts crying, touched by his kindness. At night, Lucille eats food, and Golgar again gives him a bad-tasting drink, which Lucille finishes immediately to become more powerful. Everyone looks at him with curiosity. Then, Lucille tells Broad that no one will watch him anymore. Despite his efforts, Lucille is still unable to hit the right target in the next training session. He decides to go back to the guild to earn money. Broad gives him money for saving adventurers, and Lucille tells Monica that he's focused on improving his strength. She wishes him good luck. Afterward, he returns to the guild, where Broad is waiting for him. While eating food, Broad gives him an encyclopedia that will help him increase his powers. Lucille thanks Broad for the present, and then starts drinking a juice, which increases his powers. Broad tells Lucille that there is no training today, and Lucille is now free. Lucille likes it, but he has nothing to do except training. Broad suggests he go into the kitchen and explore those skills as well. Lucille likes this suggestion and decides to go into the kitchen. Here he meets Galba, who is the younger brother of Golgar. Galba is happy to meet Lucille. Then, Galba pulls out a monster and starts cutting it up, explaining to Lucille that this is where the meat goes for the whole town. Lucille watches and learns with wonder. Galba tells him that he can find many monsters here. After some time, Lucille is given a wild rabbit. He cuts it into pieces and then goes to wash the clothes. Here, Nanaela comes and helps him with washing the clothes. In the evening, Lucille eats food and gets sad to think that after eating food, he has to drink a juice of very bad taste. The next day is also his day off, and he notices that his status has gone down a lot, thinking it's like a game. Meanwhile, Nanaela and her friend hold Lucille, and then Melina also comes and takes Lucille to the library. Here he learns about encyclopedias, and it becomes part of his routine. After some time, Nanoela takes him shopping. After shopping, he hears the sound of Monica, who is injured. He takes her to the guild and heals her. After two months, Broad takes Lucille to heal many adventurers. Healing adventurers makes Lucille faint as all his energy is used up. But now, after practicing for one year, he has become very skilled and wants to face monsters. Broad tries to stop him and suggests he work here as Monica does, as a receptionist. Lucille refuses because he wants to learn more and different strategies. He tells Broad that he wants to earn money to establish a healing center and he will often come there for training. Lucille goes to Kurulu to update his status. Kurulu gets angry and says that she has become too busy since Monica left, but Lucille doesn't believe her. Kurulu then asks him about his training. Lucille tells her that he only wants to improve his self-defense skills because he wants to stay alive. Broad arrives to give him money. After some time, he goes to eat food where he has to drink a bad juice. He drinks it unwillingly and sits alone because of its smell. Then, an adventurer comes there and asks him why he is not interested in girls. Lucille feels very bad about it. The next moment, Monica arrives, he touches her cheek, and both of them get shy. On the other side, Bodakali is scolding his people due to the decreasing income. They then confront Lucille directly. Bodakali introduces himself and asks him to work for his healer, but Lucille clearly refuses because he is the one who attacked Monica. A strong argument starts between them, and Bodakali orders his people to attack Lucille. Broad arrives there at the right time, and Bodakali runs away upon seeing him. Broad takes Lucille to the Adventurer Guild and tells him that now his life is in danger. So, Broad trains him as a gladiator. Broad beats him badly, but he stands up again to fight. That's why everyone starts calling him a zombie, which he doesn't like at all. In the next training session, Broad gives a sword to Lucille for training. Now he practices different strategies using different tools for self-defense. On the other side, Bodakali writes a transfer letter for Lucille and starts laughing loudly. And that's the end of the video. As always, if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading a lot of videos just like this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, goodbye.